Elsewhere around the world, the U.S. Senate voted to end the government shutdown following an agreement to debate on the future of young illegal immigrants. The temporary funding bill was passed by the House representatives on Monday, local time, and the government will reopen on Tuesday for another fortnight. Noah Ram files us this report. Senate Democrats dropped their objections in return for assurances from Republican leaders that they will soon take up contentious issues, especially in regards to immigration. Senate Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer said he got that reassurance from Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, but he still expressed frustration at the White House for not engaging in talks. And the White House refused to engage in negotiations over the weekend. The great deal-making president sat on the sidelines. Despite and because of this frustration, I've been having conversations with the Republican leader over the weekend about a path forward. After several discussions, offers, counteroffers, the Republican leader and I have come to an arrangement. Tens of thousands of federal workers had begun closing down operations for lack of funding on Monday, the first weekday since the shutdown, but essential services such as security and defense operations had continued. They will now all go back to work, but only for the time being. The funding arrangement will only provide cash to the government for the next two and a half weeks, stopping the shutdown until February 8th. During that period, both parties will try to find common ground on the issue that started the whole impasse, the plight of about 700,000 so-called dreamer immigrants who have brought to America illegally as children. If talks fail again over the next two weeks, then we could see another government shutdown that could go on for much longer. Meanwhile, U.S. stocks soared after the deal to end the stalemate with the Dow, S&P 500 and Nasdaq all rising to all-time highs. Noaram Arirang News.